You can use transparencies to create some amazing effects. You can simulate water or glass or clouds, create highlights and reflections, lighten or darken parts of an image, and apply special effects to objects and photos. They're a powerful part of the digital artist's toolkit, so let's take a look at them. At the most simple level, it's just a case of how much of one object you see through another. Here's a white square on a photo. I'm going into the transparency tool here to select it, and then tweak its transparency up here with the slider. 0% is totally opaque. 100% is totally transparent. Somewhere around 50 is a useful place to start. So right away you can get some nice looking filters going just by dragging and dropping colours off the colour line here and tweaking the slider. This is just a simple flat mix transparency. The colours of the overlying rectangle mix with the colours of the underlying photo. So just using the semi-transparent white rectangle I can choose from this range of different transparency types. You can divide the transparencies into four types really. Those which darken, those which lighten, those which provide contrast, and those affecting the colour, the hue, saturation and luminance of the blend. If you select the enhanced transparency type, you can then switch into the photo tool and then use any of the photo effects on your selected transparency. In addition to using one of the transparency blends, you can also control which part of the image your blend is actually going to affect by using one of the transparency shapes here. So we have no transparency, which is fairly obvious, and then flat, which is going to affect the full area of the transparency shape. Then we've got the different types of graduated transparency. Linear is probably the one used the most, but there are also six others to choose from. When you apply these transparency shapes, you'll see these fill handles appear, which you can then use to tweak the dimensions of the shape. Then we have the last three, bitmap, fractal clouds, and fractal plasma. The bitmap is a photo or any phototype object like a texture or a repeating tile. Choose the blend type for the bitmap here, choose the tiling option here, and then select the bitmap here. It can be any bitmap within the document, so that will be all the objects contained in the bitmap gallery. There's a handy little snapshot preview gallery right here. More advanced users can even adjust the bitmap profile here, which changes the rate of transitions between the start and end of transparencies. You can create some great patterns and textures. Again, use the fill handles to experiment. Here I've got a water texture photo in my bitmap gallery, so I'm going to apply it to this image here. Add the Multiply Stained Glass Blend, increase the transparency using the slider, and just give the profile a little tweak. And now I've added a nice subtle smoke effect. The two fractals, Clouds and Plasma, are useful for creating ambient textures and fills. Again, use the fill handles to experiment. 